What's going on guys? It's a sneaky cow and this is some ground war domination on weapons of mass destruction aka also known as WMD. I am using the gold for moss with the extended max, black jacket, sleight of hand and tactical mask with sleight of hand and tactical mask pro. My kill streaks were the blackbird, chopper gunner and dogs. And this game is my best Call of Duty Black Ops game I've ever played. No doubt um my KD was absolutely ridiculous, and uh, this is kind of funny. I nuked the guy and thought he was dead, and then I was like, oh, okay, he's alive. So I killed him, got my 10 kills with my grenade launcher, sprayed this guy down, and uh, yeah, this was a, like this game was just incredible. So I'm just going to talk about the game and uh, how to do really well on WMD in any game mode. So basically, this room is the room you want to control in every game mode but two. Now, the reason why I say but two is free-for-all, this, this building is too big as I pick up my Blackbird and my Chopper Gunner. And this extended mags Galil saves my butt. Ten kills, and then I get three guys here for my dogs. And uh, that's what you get for camp and snipers. So, basically, what I'm talking about with you want to own this building is... The only problem with owning this building in free-for-all is the fact that it's a big building and a motion sensor can't cover it. There's also four entrances, or five if you want to call it that. The other game mode that I don't think this is a very good building to cover, the building I was just in as I'm now moving into the enemy's spawn, is in headquarters. Just because the headquarters can bounce around all over the place. But in every other game mode, ground war, search, no matter what, that building is the best building. And I absolutely fail at killing this guy and that guy. And uh, I was spraying a guy that was up here, but he knifed me. And I'm going to tell you right now, that was my only death. So I'm going to call my chopper gunner and my dogs at the same time. And uh, the reason why I did that was because this map has a lot of inner buildings. And I just thought it would be beneficial to have my dogs and chopper gunner going at the same time. Which did work out in my favor. Now, the other thing I want to talk about with WMD is kill streaks and stuff. And kill streaks that would benefit you. So... Basically, I, I think it depends on your skill level for what kill stream you should run. I think that if you are a confident Call of Duty player, it doesn't matter if you're good, if you're just confident, then always, and I mean always, run Blackbird. It's the first kill streak I buy, no matter what. It will help you a lot. Now, my kill streaks I unlock every time are the Blackbird, Napalm, Chopper Gunner, Attack Dogs, and Gunship. Now, the reason why I don't unlock anything else is I do sometimes if I have lots of money, but, like, excuse me, this prestige, I'm saving up for gold guns. Um, basically, those those kill streaks you can combine them together. Um, you can use the dogs, the gunship, or the chopper gunner combined. You know, dogs, chopper gunner, gunship, chopper gunner. You can also use gunship on its own with blackbird and napalm and stuff. Like, when I play um, Demolition, I usually run with... Napalm, because that can really help you cover the entire bomb site. I had a 7 and 1 Napalm on a firing range day, playing with Unknown Mustang and Legacy and uh, Unknown Redhead. All uh, the channels for Jimmy and Legacy will be in the description. And Legacy actually just got his hapage. So, the other kill streaks that I like to build up is uh, Spy Plane, Blackbird, and gunship, chopper gunner, dogs, but the only problem with that is that I really don't find that they are beneficial, well, the spy plane, with all these ghost people. So, the other um, part of this map that has to do with kill streaks is air support is amazing on this map. So, I would really recommend running napalm, blackbird, and chopper gunners, but this game I had dogs on instead of napalm because I had been playing jungle the game before and that destroyed, and dogs really help you on this map. So that's kind of it about the map. I just like to talk a bit about the gameplay now. So, um, this game, like I said, was a really good game. I played really, I played, this is one of my better games I've ever played. Right now, I'm 49 and 1. Now, I believe I finished the game in my chopper gunner, but don't quote me on that. We did triple cap them for the rest of the way. So, yeah, start off my chopper gunner with a nice triple feed, and uh, from here on out, it went really, really well. So this may have not been the most action-packed game, but I think it was a really action game and a really fun game to play it made me smile for like four hours even after this game i went negative for the first time in two months and uh was still happy so it's kind of funny like with me i, ha I consider 39 and 13 a bad game and the reason why i bring that up is because that's a score i get a lot and i also find that if i'm going 30 and 5 in a 
draw more domination, I'm not doing a good enough job either. But that's just me, so it's kind of funny. Um, a negative game for me is unheard of. And I can't believe these guys didn't see me. I was standing up. I'm just like, oh, great. I'm doing so well, and they're going to kill me. But luckily, they didn't. So, victory for me, I guess you could say. And I actually just remembered my shopper gunner did get shot down, so I did have to come out with a score of 182 to 38. Now, the other cool thing about this game was I did join late, and my team did have about 35 points. So, that's really nice for me. So the game is wrapping down. If you'd like to take anything away with this game, it's just own the build of building on WMD and use kill streaks that benefit you. And like I said, I would recommend Napalm, Blackbird, and Chopper Gunner for this map. And if you're a really confident or strong player, then swift swap out Napalm with dogs. Other than that, this gameplay is almost over and uh, it's over now. My final score was 65 and 1. And I was kind of going crazy, so I'm just like, I just won 65 and 1 and message all my friends. I know I'm. <laughs> It's a long story, but uh, maybe I'll talk about that in another commentary. But other than that, just have a nice day. Please remember to rate the video. Um, channels I talked about will be in the description, along with my last gameplay, which was a domination on jungle. Other than that, just have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.